Allison, and for today's workout, we're focusing on lower body and abs. But before we begin, make sure to tap that subscribe button and tap the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos. For this workout, we'll be focusing on all strength for the lower body and your core. All you need is a moderate pair of dumbbells and an optional moderate to heavy weight bar. If you don't have a weight bar, that's okay. Just stick with your dumbbells. All right, so grab your equipment and some water and let's get started. Let's begin with a quick warm up. Start with those feet about shoulder width apart, hands on the quad to give me a nice slow flat back down. Abs tight, round the spine to stand. Shoulder roll back, do it again. Inhale down. Exhale, round up. You have two more of those. Good, flat back down. Round up. And one more here, inhale. Exhale out. Let's get the lower body moving a bit. Tap those toes wide. Tap, tap. So for today, we're focusing on legs and core. So let's make sure we get those nice and warmed up. Drop those hips down, make sure the heels are on the ground. Good. You have eight more just like that. Make it bigger. Seven, six, here's four, three. Now we're gonna step touch those feet in. Step in and out, step in and out. Work with the space that you have. If you only have a little bit of room, make the movement smaller. Good, stay there. Option is to add those arm pulls. Eight more. Here's eight, seven, six. There's four, three. We're gonna change the legs, hamstrings. So get, drop the hips down and you're bringing those heels up to the glutes. So sink back and kick those feet up. Yes. Stay with it. You have four more coming up in four. Three, now we're gonna double these up for two. Ready? Two on the right, two on the left. Do it again. Two, other side, twice more. Changing the legs again, outer thighs. Step, lift, driving through that heel on the ground, keeping the knees soft, and your toe points down just a little bit on top. Excellent work. Four more, four, three. Now we're gonna do inner thighs. Pulling down, reach towards the heel. Nice long lever with the arms, standing tall. Eight more. Nice, stay here. Four, three, now knee lifts. Reaching tall, keeping the core engaged. Think about driving the knees up towards the chest. Reach and pull. In four, three, doubles for two. Two on the right, two on the left. Do it again, lift up. Nice job, twice more. There's two. Now from the top, tap the toes wide. Hands on the quads, stay here. Good, four, three, we're shortening up. Step, touch it, step and pull. Can you make this bigger than that first round? Drop those hips down, heels on the ground. Four, three, hamstrings. Ooh, curl it up. Your heart rate should be gradually coming up. Very nice. Four more, four, three, doubles for two. Throughout this, keep the core engaged. Very nice. Remember what's next? <laughs> Outer thighs, step, step. Sinking down a little lower on those hips than round one. Eight more, there's eight. Seven, six, in, four, three, inner thighs pull down. So when you're doing this, you're also warming up the core. Good, pull, reach, stay here, in eight. All right, last move's coming up, it's those knees. Here we go, knee lifts, reach and pull. Get those knees all the way up to the chest. Come on, we're almost done with this warm up. In, four, three, double it up. Two on the right, and left, again. Beautiful, march those feet wide. March, all right, really quick, to get those hamstrings up a little bit more, we're gonna bring the arms up, toy soldiers. If you can't keep that leg straight, make it smaller, right? And if it's still a little bit tight, bend the knee a bit and flick kick instead. So let's go about 15 seconds, how you like. Abs in, again, firing up those abs. Woo, yes, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, feet are down. 
set them up a little wider than the shoulder width apart. Lunge side to side. Last little inner thigh stretch. And then we'll get you going. Last four. Three, two, hold it center. Walk those feet in from the top. Hands on the quads, flat back. Round all the way up to st uh, stand. Inhale, reach. Exhale out, one more time. Deep breath in on the toes. And let it out. Grab your weights, grab some water, and I'll meet you back here. Welcome back. I went ahead and placed my dumbbells and my weight bar to the side. We're gonna start with a couple basic body weight exercises just to get the legs going, and then we'll add in the weights. So starting off with squats, we're going to have our feet both shoulder width apart, spine is long, tummy is tight. Now when you do squats, you wanna think about sinking back in those heels, making sure the knees don't pass the toes, we're gonna come up, we're gonna squeeze the glutes on top. All right, when you're ready, let's squat down and up right here. Down and lift, down and squeeze. Now, if it's starting to bother your knees at all, double check your positioning and make sure that you're not leaning forward too much or if you need to, shorten that range of motion. And if you're feeling really good, sink down a little lower. Get a nice stretch in those glutes. Inhale, exhale and up. We have eight more. Take this eight and up, seven, Good, six, keeping the abs in. Four more. In four, listen for my cue change. Two more. We're gonna take the same squat, cut the speed down for two, up for two. We go down, down, press through the heel, squeeze on top. Inhale, lower, and up. And notice I'm still keeping the shoulders back, chest up, on the low ends. Lift and squeeze. Woo, starting to feel it, give me two more. Inhale, down slow. Exhale up again, down, and singles right here. There's eight, and lift, seven. You got it. Four more, here's four, nice three, in two, we're gonna finish the set. Little pulses, eight counts, eight, seven, six, five, yes, four, three, slowly come up, and then shake those legs out. Whew, good. All right, legs are starting to feel it a little bit. Second move we're gonna do for kind of more of an extended warm up is stationary lunges. One leg back, one leg um, forward. Shoulders back, you can place your hands wherever you like for balance, hands on the hips, to the side, whatever you like. All right, we're gonna um, keep a similar format. Singles, slow it down, finish with pulses. Okay, when you're ready, check your form. Let's go down and up. We drop down and lift, down and up, eight more, seven, good, six, five, nice, four, drive through that front heel, three, in two, now cut the speed, down for two, up for two, here we go, take it down, down, press up, we only have four of these, inhale down, watch the knee, twice more, back knee drops down, nice and line, one more, take it down, down, Singles, down and up, four of them. Go, four, three, get ready in two, one set, pulse for eight. Down, eight, seven, six, nice work. Four, three, slowly come up, back foot comes in, shake it out. And we have the same thing on the other side. Whew. We're not even holding the weights yet, and I know I'm definitely feeling it. One leg forward, other leg back. Same form as before, shoulders back, watch your balance, shoulders and hips square. All right, so 10 singles, four slow, four singles, and we finish with pulses. Ready? Let's drop down and up. Four, 10, and lift. Nine, press into the front heel, there's eight. Yes, seven, stay strong. Six, five, all right, coming up. In four, we get to slow these down. Three, here's two, keep it smooth. Down two, up two, we inhale down. Exhale, press up. Again, whoo, down for two, and lift. Awesome, twice more. Down, down, and up. One more. All right, four singles, knock them out. Take it, four, in three, two more. Here's two, one time, pulse for eight. Give me eight, seven, six, nice, four, three, and slowly come up. Back foot comes in and shake it out. Grab a quick drink of water and I'll meet you back here with your dumbbells or your barbells. 
If you have an option to use a weighted bar, we're going to use that. If not, hang on to your dumbbells and hold them to the side. Okay, we're gonna go through and do another set of squats, but this time holding the weights. So if you're using a, a bar like me, I'm gonna carefully bring it up overhead and have it resting on the lower part, um, not on the neck, but right on the traps, right, right across the shoulders. Okay, so from here, having the feet shoulder width apart, gaze is forward, abs are tight. We're gonna do those squats down and up. Join me here. We're gonna go slow and then press and squeeze. So now that we have weight, we definitely don't wanna go as quick as we did earlier. Inhale down and up and press. And also we're getting used to that extra resistance. So if at any time you don't like the weights, feel free to place them down and do the same movement without. Inhale and exhale. Can we get a little bit deeper and press? Yes. Woo, squeezing the glutes on top. Two more. Down for two and up again. Inhale. Now we're gonna go down for two. We're gonna isometric hold for three, two, one. Press up for two. Woo, do it again. Down two. Hold for three, two. Raise it up for two. Very nice. Again, down two. Hold three, two, one. Press up. One more, just like that. You got it. Down two, hold. Good. Press up for two and back to our original pace. Down, down, and up. One more. Woo. Now, let's go ahead and pick it up just a little bit. Down a lift for four. Three, take it at your own speed. Two, and one. Carefully, if you had the bar, bring it up, set it down. If you have the weights, bring it down for a second. Woo, shake out those legs. Okay. Second exercise with your weights. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the dumbbells for this one. If you like the bar, you're gonna place it where you just had it um, across the shoulders. Okay, so we have our weights. We're gonna do alternating front lunges. So waist to the side or, or your bars across the shoulders, shoulders back, chest up. We're gonna alternate front and then front again, other side. When you're ready, join me right here. We're going front lunge, drive through the heel, other side. Inhale down, exhale, press up. Woo, yes. So, the heavier weights you go, definitely the more challenge, but it's up to you. This is your workout. If you're not feeling any weights today, don't hold them. There's eight, and up. Seven, nice work. Stay there, four more. Here's four, three, and two. Hang on to your weight, check out the legs. Now from here, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of room behind. Alternating reverse lunges. Similar move, bending the back knee. Okay, weights or barbells in hand. When you're ready, abs are tight. Let's go reverse. We go back and up, back and up. Like always, making sure the front knee is not passing that toe. Shoulders back, chest lifted. Whew. Down. And up. Very nice. Stay there. Eight more. Eight, seven, six. Keep going. Five, four, and three, two, last one. And relax. Let's go ahead and set those weights down. Next move, let's do a little body weight. Okay, from here, we're hitting. It looks like what we did in the warm up, except we're gonna go deeper on the squat. Squat, abductor, outer thigh lift, squat, and then we get the other side. Okay, so when you're ready, spine is long, tummy tight. Let's go down and up here. Squat and lift, squat and up. Sinking low on those heels, taking it at your own speed. Whew, yes. This is a no repeat workout, which means we're not doing multiple sets today. We're gonna keep every, uh, every exercise a little bit different, change it up, keep your muscles guessing. Whew. All right, coming up, four more of these, and then I'm gonna add a little pulse with the squat. In two, feet down, pulse for three, out of thigh. It's three, two, one, out of thigh, other side. Three, two, one, and squeeze. Down three, sink in the heels, one, and up, three, two, 
One, four more, like that. Three, two, one, and lift. Three, set yourself up before you hit that other side. Three, two, one, and up. Woo. And we're back to singles, squat, singles. Down, out of thigh. Seven, there, six, five, good, four, in three, nice, two, and go ahead, shake it out. Woo, walk it off, grab a drink, and come back with your weights or your bar. All right, for the next move, let's do some hamstrings. We're doing a set of Romanian deadlifts. We're gonna start with double legs, and then we'll drop down to single legs. So for this one, if you're holding your bar, you're holding it in front, and if you're holding your weights, the same thing, you're gonna hold the weights right in front of you. So for this move, I'm gonna have my feet a little bit narrower than shoulder width apart. I do wanna show you a side view for this, but this is the space between the feet. So from here, shoulders back, abs are tight, spine is long. When you do your deadlift, you want more, um, more stress behind the hamstrings, but minimal stress on your lower back. So it's all about the form. So before you start, retract the shoulders, lift the chest, keep a soft bend in the knees. When we inhale, we drop down, shifting the weight towards the toes. Now everyone's range of motion is different. So right when you feel a little stretch behind the knees, that is your lowest stopping point. So inhale, we go down, keeping the spine and neck in a neutral position. And then exhale, slowly shift up, shift the weight back to your heels and come up and squeeze the glutes on top. We are going to do these slow. So when you're ready, weights are bar in hand. We inhale down for two and then come up for two. Here we go, drop down and then slowly come up. Again, we're all at our own pace for this one. Inhale down, look at the ground, exhale, come up. So don't strain your neck trying to look at me on the screen or look up. Keep your gaze down. <sighs> Inhale, again, feeling the hamstrings, not the lower back. Yes, inhale down. Exhale, come up. And you'll feel as you move on, the hamstrings will get a little bit more warmed, a little bit looser. You might be able to drop down an inch or two farther by the end. We're gonna get three more. Inhale down. Exhale, come up. You're doing great. Two more. And up. One more. Down. And then up. Okay, hang on to your weight to bar. Now let's go into a staggered stance and do single legs. So for this, we call it a stork stance. So one foot forward, the hamstring is gonna work. The other leg, we're gonna keep that tippy toe down for balance. Now, if you're really good, you're welcome to go in airplane mode where this leg will go all the way up. But for this video today, I'm gonna keep that back toe down. So holding the bar the same way, shoulders back, abs tight. We're going to inhale down. Feel the hamstring in that front leg. Exhale, come up. So at your own pace, we're gonna get anywhere between six and eight. Ready, let's go. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Good, down for two and up. Take breaks as you need to. Adjust the range of motion as you need to but it's just like before. You're shifting the weight towards the toe on the way down, shifting the weight towards the heel on the way up, keeping your spine and neck in a neutral position, squeezing the glutes on top. Inhale down, and then exhale up. I'm just gonna get two more, but you take your time. Get to your goal. Breathe, one more. Woo! And the easiest way to get out of it, the last one, back foot steps in. Good. All right, other side. So however many you got the first time, get it this round too. I think I did six or seven. I think I forgot to count, but that's okay. <laughs> Shoulders back, abs in. When you're ready, go for it. Down for two, so right away. I know for me, this side feels a little bit tighter than it did the other side. So I'm gonna take my time, watch the balance, ease the way into it. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep the uh, core tight. Chest lifted. And definitely when we do unilateral movements like this, you might find one side is stronger, more flexible than the other. And that is perfectly normal. Yes, I'm gonna get three more. Three, nice and slow. Woo, good. And one more, you finish up your set. And 
warming it up. Nice work, grab a drink. Let's give our legs a quick break and do some core. Grab one of your dumbbells. We're gonna start off with some standing weighted knee smashes. So depending on what your dumbbell looks like, you can either hold it vertically or horizontally. For me, I'm gonna hold it horizontally with an underhand grip, reverse grip. Now, reaching up, I'm gonna have my feet a little near the shoulder width apart. All I'm gonna do is drive the knee straight up, bring the weight towards it, and then other side, up and down. When you're ready, we're gonna go about 30 seconds. Here we go, exhale, end up, lift. Driving that knee up with purpose, make it strong, controlled. Up, heel down, up and down. If at any time you're not feeling the weight, feel free to place it on the ground and keep the same motion. Whew. Exhale, inhale, reach. Yes, about halfway, 15 seconds. Tighten the core. Think of it like a standing crunch. Last eight. Whew. Keep it up, keep it up. Four, three, two, and one. Carefully bring that weight down. We're gonna hang on to it and work some external obliques. Okay, picking one side at a time, we're gonna go into a sumo squat or plie squat position. Basically, all that means is our toes are gonna to flare out at about a 45 degree angle. Nice and wide. Weights in one hand, it's gonna go and drop behind the leg on the movement. Hand behind the head. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna squat down, rotate towards the heel, center, and come up. We're doing 10 repetitions on each side. So when you're ready, get in position. Have your weight, have your hand behind. Here we go, drop down and up. Down, rotate, center, that's one. So you're going towards that heel. Again, just like before, if you're not feeling the weight, get rid of it, keep the same motion. Down, rotate, center. That's four, yes. Already halfway there. Five, press to the heels. We'll keep the chest lifted. Down, over. Last three, down, yes. Two more, go towards that heel. And one more, woo. Bring it up, shake it out. Very nice. Same thing, other side. Weights in the hand, hand behind. We rotate over, legs in that plie squat position. Toes flaring out, set it up so you're not knocking your leg. It's gonna go behind, hand behind the head. All right, let's go, 10 of them, down. Twist, up, 10. And you're going towards that heel. Nine, squeezing those external obliques. Whew. Eight, and making sure those knees don't flock out on top. Down, yes, there's six. Halfway there, five, four. Last two, come on, you got it. Over. And one more. Awesome. Whew, bring it up. Let's take a break from the weight, set it down. One more core exercise while we're standing. We're doing alternating knee smashes. So for this one, the difference is we're gonna add a rotation. One side at a time, staggered stance, knee comes up, diagonal across the body. This arm comes across towards the outer thigh. 15 on each side. Okay, so get your stance. Abs are tight, arms up. Here we go. Knee smash. One, two, yes, three. Crunch it here. Boom. Four, Woo. five, six, seven. Keep your base knee soft. Nine, ten. Come on, five more, five more. Five, a little more. Four, three, two. Walk it out. Fantastic. One more side, and then we'll get a drink break. Okay, stagger it, abs tight, arms up long. Let's do it. In and out for two, three. Don't forget that rotation on top. Four, five, yes, six, seven, eight. Come on, over halfway. Nine, you've got this. Ten, last five, four, keep twisting. Two, and one. Woo. Great job. Grab a drink and I'll meet you back here. Here is your last section for lower body. Go ahead and grab either your bar or your dumbbells. If you're using your bar, 
we're gonna place it back around the shoulders like we did before. And if you're holding dumbbells, you're gonna hold them to the side or you can also place them on your shoulders. All right, carefully bring the weights up. Okay, from here, we're doing what's called a cross back or a curtsy lunge, however you like to call this. Now for this move, because we have the weight, we're gonna stay stationary. So to get in the correct form and position, one foot stays forward, the other leg swings back. Now once you're here, try to square and turn those sh shoulders and those hips a little bit more. So it's gonna feel awkward and that's okay. We're gonna drop down and then we're gonna press to that front heel and come up. We have 10 on each side. Ready? Let's go. 10, end up. Nine, Whew. eight, seven, take your time. Six, five, four, three, in two, and one. Easiest way to come out of it, swing that leg back. All right, give yourself some space. Other side, one foot forward, other leg comes back. Turn those hips, square them up. All right, you ready? Let's go for 10, 10. Nine, press through the front heel, eight, Whew. seven, there's six, five, last four, three, come on, two more, two, and one. Bring it around, carefully remove your weight. Fantastic, I'm gonna set the bar down. Whew. Okay, so if you had a bar, you can stick with it or shift to, over to dumbbells. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the dumbbells. We're gonna get a little bit more of a variation for squats. Okay, so for this move, have the feet in a plie pos um, position like we did earlier. Weights can either go here, or you can place them on the shoulders. Or again, if you have your bar, it stays around your shoulders. I just wanna show the different variations depending on what kind of weights you have at home. From here, we're gonna plie squat down, drop in the hips, press through the heels, come up. When you're ready, let's start with singles. Down and up. This is going to be our finisher for legs. So make every rep count in four. Here's three, coming up a count change. Two, down for three, up for one. We go three, two, one, and lift. On that one count, can you get as low as you can safely? Two, one, and up again. Three, two, down six, up two. Six, five, four, three, Press up for two, just one of those. Now down one, up three, reverse. Inhale, exhale, negatives, come up. Again, inhale, drop, exhale and press. Two more, single, slow, awesome. One more, Woo. down two, up six. It's down, two, slow, six, five, there's four, three, two, singles, four, three, in two, we're not done with this yet, but if you had weights, carefully place them down and then come back into your place position. I don't wanna hold weights for this next part. Give you a second to come back. Okay, we're continuing on, same movement, changing it up a little bit. When you're ready, join me down and up. Down and squeeze the glutes on top. Ah, doesn't it feel <laughs> so much lighter with no weights? Four more, in four, Here's three, two more. There's two. Now you're gonna pop this heel up, keep playing this side. Now, here we go. Getting a little bit of extra calf action. Work your some inner thighs. Down and lift. In four, three, two more. Here's two. Keep the heel up, pulse it down for eight, seven. We're gonna transition, but listen up. Four, three, keep pulsing, drop this heel down for four. Three, keep pulsing, pop this heel up, singles. Down and up. Now we're on the other side. Good. Woo, seven. There's six, keep the abs in. Four more. Good, four. Here's three, get ready. In two. And give me those pulses. Pulse eight, seven, six, five. Good, four, three, keep pulsing, drop that heel. Back to a base play. Three, two, singles, down and up. Down and up. All the way down for two. Stay low, singles, halfway, slow. Back down, here's three, Woo. two. Press it all the way up for two. Last time like that, down for two. Low one, singles, four, 
three, two, all the way up for two, and shake it out. Whew. Okay, our last exercise for today, grab one of your dumbbells, we're doing a set of calf raises. Now, if you have a wall or something top of a chair to hang on to, hold for balance. I'm gonna go ahead and place my hand lightly on the wall. Now, starting off, weights in the hand, off to the side, I'm gonna try to turn so you can see. We're gonna start with some basic calf raises. Ready, both legs up and down. Lift up and down. Lifting the heels, here's the backside. Up and lower. Again, squeeze, lower, lift. Four more with both. In four, three, good. Two, shake it off for a second. I'm gonna turn my back to you. Singles, so hang on for balance. One foot behind the other ankle. Weight's on the same side, we lift for eight. Eight, seven, six, Five, keep going. Four, three, two, shake it out. Switch the weight to the other hand on the side that's working. All right, take the leg that we just worked behind the ankle. Here we go, lift up and down, other side for eight, seven, six, stay with it. Four more in four, three, two, and last one. All right, finishing off, set the weight down. Watch my feet. I have a, a slight plie, toes flaring out. Ready, calf raise, angled for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. This is it, four, three, last two, and one. You did it, great job, grab a drink, and I'll meet you back here for a quick cool down and stretch. Great job on completing that workout. I know that was a hard one with the heavier weights, but you made it through. Let's finish off with a nice cool down stretch. Let's have those feet a little wide in the shoulder width apart and very similar to our warm up. Let's lunge side to side. It feels good, add some big arm circles. Inhale, exhale, circle those arms around. Whew. Take your time with this and breathe. There's four, three, two, whatever side you fall on, stay there. Uh, lift the chest, weights in the base leg, pop up that toe, and hang on to that inner thigh stretch. Very good. You can just breathe through it. Take your time, go as deep as comfortable for you with these stretches. Now we're gonna drop that toe, pivot, turn, lunge. Squaring up the shoulders and hips, pressing that back heel down, feel the calf, and then take the fingers, interlock, push the wall in front of you away, dip the chin, and just lean forward a little bit. There you go. Breathe deep, in and out, in through the nose, exhale through the mouth, letting the heart rate come down. Inhale, reach those arms up, exhale, bring it down, drop this back knee, tuck your pelvis in, feel a nice hip flexor stretch right there. If you like to, interlock the fingers behind, lift the heart and chest, deep breath in, exhale out, and again, inhale. Exhale out. Good, release, step the back leg in. Shift the weight back, pop at the front toe, scoot the booty back and stretch up the hamstring. Now for this one, your weight's in your base leg. If you'd like a little bit deeper here, drop this toe, feel a little bit lower on the hamstring. If you're not feeling this move, keep that toe up. Very nice. Gently round that spine to stand. Pivot turn, face me in the front, flat back down. Abs tight, round up. Lunge side to side, big arm circles. Whew, let's transition to the other side. In four, three, two, hang out other way. Chest up, toe up, weights in that base leg. Very good. Can feel that inner thigh. Hopefully your heart rate's down a bit more than it was a minute ago. That's a good sign. Good, drop the toe, pivot, turn and lunge. Just like before, press that heel down and then interlock, push the wall in front of you away. Good. Deep breaths. 
And when you're ready, big inhale, reach the arm up overhead, exhale, release down, drop that back knee, tuck the hips in. And then once you're here, interlock, open up the chest and heart. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale out. And do it again, inhale. Exhale out. And release it, back leg in, hamstring. Shift up, good, weight to that base leg, toe is up. Or if you like a little bit more, drop that toe down, keeping the knee soft. Feeling that stretch of the hands, if it feels tight in the beginning, it should hopefully ease its way down and be a little bit more, more tolerant as you hold this stretch. Feel free to definitely hold these longer or do this warm or this uh, cool down twice if you like to. Round it up, last time pivot turn, face me. Flat back down, round all the way, one vertebrae at a time, head and shoulders last. Shoulder rolls back, and then forward. Inhale, arms reach up to the ceiling. Exhale down, one last time, deep breath in, up on the toes, and let it all out. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Great job at completing this workout. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Instagram at AllieFitATL for more daily workouts.